What's up? This is Dan. I'm the bodybuilder in Thailand from bodybuilderinthailand.com. This is steroid cycle. So, what steroids did Ziz take, and did he in fact take steroids? Well, we're going to clear up that first fact right now, okay? So I'm going to put up this picture of Ziz on a forum talking about the fact that he used steroids, okay? Check this out. Okay, so now that we've got that cleared up, Ziz used steroids. Um, we're going to talk about what steroids Ziz used. And so those steroids, when he first started out, the first cycle he did, and this is coming from his own uh, forum posts and also from um, things that have been said by people who knew him and stuff, is uh, he first started out with H-Draw, which is Halodraw. Halodraw is, it was a legal pro-hormone at the time. It's not legal anymore. Um, the closest thing that the market on it now is probably um, one Andro. Uh, which is a non-aromatizing pro-hormone, so it's like a hardening drug. Um, and h is a pro-hormone to 4-chloromethyltestosterone, which is terenobol. So oral terenobol, that's the steroid that the East Germans were using um, when they were doing their like uh, Soviet-run um, communist doping program in the Olympics. And uh, it like increases strength really well. And it also is a hardening drug. There's no uh, estrogen side effects, so it just makes you harder. It doesn't make you soft or bloated or give you gyno or anything like that. So he did a cycle of that. That was the first one he ran. And if I recall correctly, that was about five weeks long. Okay. And then for his second cycle, uh, he used decadurablin and testosterone, sustenon to be specific, which is a mix of testosterone esters fast and slow so it hits your bloodstream the testosterone hits your bloodstream like some of it hits you at this moment some of it hits you at that moment it's like not all just at once it's like spread out the testosterone ester that's sustenon and you use that with decadurablin so this is going to be a picture right here of z's holding up his bottle of decadurablin or packaging of dec decadurablin from his second steroid cycle all right so that was the decadurablin he was using. Um, this cycle is mostly like a bulking cycle, like testosterone, sustenon, and deca. They're meant for adding on mass. Dude was skinny, so help him build up some muscle mass. Um, that would be like not like a hardening cycle though. That's just like purely for gaining mass, um, muscle mass. So after he did that cycle, then I'm gonna actually show the next cycle that he did was trembolone acetate and test probe, which is kind of like where you start getting that look of like the classic Z's look that everybody knows and talks about. So I'm gonna show a picture here now of his friend injecting him in the ass with steroids. There's Z's friend injecting him in the ass with steroids. <laughs> um, yeah, so the third cycle, was Tren Ace and Test Pro, and Tren Ace is a obviously very, very powerful injectable steroid. It's arguably the strongest injectable steroid, and it gives like hardening, like crazy strength, and just makes you like look at like more of that like freak factor. And same with Test Pro, actually. Test Pro hits really fast, and it's like fast acting testosterone. You feel it the same day you inject it, rather than having to have build up in your system for a few weeks. And so that. Um, kind of like got him on his way to being that classical Z's look where you get that uh, crazy hardness, that aesthetic look. And um, then after that, I'm going to show you now a picture of like supposedly like what his uh, pre and post steroid look were, but I'm pretty sure that this pre picture was um, pretty well into his juicing gear related bodybuilding look already. So here that is. Okay, so that's what he says was uh, his before and after, before he took steroids, after he took steroids. So, um, 
then after his, um, the test pro trend a cycle that was his signature look that's what he started doing for all of his cycles so then he did a bunch of cycles after that but he also added in wind straw for most of those cycles which is an oral uh, hardening steroid it's really good for that um, it dries out uh, water from under the skin and uh, makes you look real grainy uh, hard ripped dry shredded um, that's wind straw, okay? So he started adding that. The, the base, like Z's cycle from this point on was Tren Ace, Test Probe, and wind straw. And uh, that would be like cycled on and off. Also during these times, there's been posts of him that are on forums that you can still access and check out where he would talk about the fat burners he was using. So the fat burners he was using mostly, um, he would use DNP, which is a very dangerous cutting drug. Uh, if you use too much DNP, it will kill you uh, because it'll make your body cook from the inside out. It raises your body temperature and the production of heat uh, makes your body uh, burn energy about twice as fast as it normally would. So you burn calories at like twice the rate as you normally would. And obviously when you do that, um, you know, you're redlining your body. Like, you know, in a car, like when the RPMs are redlining, you're taking it to the limit. So when you redline, you can blow in the car, you can blow one of the pistons and they, you know, shoot out of the engine and, uh, you know, your engine is destroyed. And that's similar to what can happen if you are redlining on DNP, taking a dose and the dose between what will work and make you lose fat and the dose between what will kill you, it's not that much different. Uh, it's pretty close to each other. So a very dangerous drug. That was one of the cutting drugs he was using. And the other one would be the uh, Claire veterinarian um, clenbuterol that he was using. Claire brand is from the veterinarian. It's like a clenbuterol gel, which is a fat burner. Clenbuterol, it makes you have a lot of energy. It makes you not as hungry. And uh, also kind of like makes you shaky. Like it's called like the clen shakes. If you've ever watched like Jason Genova videos, you can see uh, Jason Genova is always abusing clenbuterol and uh because he's always trying to get lean but he never will die you know and so you always see him like shaking like fucking crazy like in his videos uh and his hands are like that that's like a clenbuterol side effect especially like when you first start taking clenbuterol known as clen eat clen trend hard is uh you know the clen shakes but also it gives you a lot of energy can't sleep probably the first week that you're using it and then after that it just becomes more of just like a normal fat burner uh where it just gives you energy and suppresses your appetite all right, guys, so those are the Z's steroid cycles and uh, Z's steroid protocol. Um, you know, he died uh, because, you know, of an undiagnosed heart condition in Pattaya, which is uh, about, it's about a one-hour drive from where I live here in Bangkok. And, uh, you know, he was using gear, obviously, at the time, um, apparently had an undiagnosed heart condition. And also, you know, he talked about that he was using... Uh, recreational drugs so you know mixing those things together you know you're really playing with fire uh, undiagnosed heart condition uh, recreational drugs and uh, steroid abuse uh, fat burning or fat burner abuse at the same time I mean clenbuterol already jacks your fucking heart rate through the roof so you, know, you do that and uh, you know things happen you have to be smart about things and uh, you know you're not immortal so watch out for that all right guys that was the disease steroid cycle that's what he used, and uh, let me know if you have any questions, and also check out the associated article that I wrote that goes a little bit more in depth on my website, bodybuilderinthailand.com. That's linked in the description under this video uh, to the Z's steroid article, and it kind of like puts it out like more like step by step, like what was going on, and it's a little more in depth. So if you're interested in it more, check that out. Uh, again, it's linked in the description under this video and also this video is for informational purposes only I'm not promoting you guys to use this stuff I'm just putting this out there this information out there just to inform you guys of what he did and uh, you know just telling you you know that that's what he did to help him along with his training and diet to achieve the look that he did uh, not promoting that you go out and do the same thing this is for educational purposes only and in fact I promote you do not go out and do the same thing, okay? All right, guys, this is Dan. I'm the bodybuilder in Thailand from bodybuilderinthailand.com. See you guys next time.